people of Twitch, and welcome to our Thursday Modding Workshop stream. I see we have a subscriber, thank you so much, Fickle. Really appreciate it, you're always so generous. Honestly, that's a lovely way to start. Thank you so much. So, hi! Hope you're all doing well. It is another boiling hot day here in the UK. We've had too many of these lately, and I don't approve, frankly. Um, yeah, how are you all doing? Hey, Rexflash, hey, Zooey, hey, Morticia, hey, Bard, hey, the K GoPro! Watcher, you're here! And it's 20-year-old baby! And the Ripchen! Greetings! I love your hype train badge. It's so shiny and gold. Next to a Lucian wizard as well, which is adorable. I love. Hi, everyone! Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to need to be doing a lot of hydrating today because it is just far too warm. It's outrageous. Could someone turn down the sun? Hey, Frizzy Dragon. Hey, Wolf. Thunderstorms on the East Coast. Wow. I could do with a gentle thunderstorm here. I think that would cool everything down a bit. But just the gentle one. None of the uh, dramatic thunderstorms that you guys get, please. We don't really do dramatic weather over here. Hey, Ninja, welcome! Howdy, howdy, right back at you. I'm very well, thank you. It's just too warm. Thunderbolts and lightning. Very, very frightening. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the Fantango? And so on and so forth. Right, so today is another modding workshop stream, so we're going to be doing some modding. I was just noticing a tuft, got a hair tuft. There you go. That's a bit better. That's a bit tidier. But yes, I'll fire up the creation kit because we are carrying on our work on the Bone Wolf interaction patch. So let me just get that going. You don't have to work this week. That's a lovely thing to discover. I could do with a week without work. <laughs> Hello, baby built. Welcome to the stream. I don't think I've seen you here before. Hi. Always lovely to have new people. Let me just get this set up. Sometimes the creation kit just uh, completely reorganizes itself for no reason at all. And you have to tidy things up. Getting that loaded, and I'll summon our co-star, Tiny Lucian, and then I'll switch the camera across. Oh, you've just uploaded your mod, Reg Slash. That's very exciting. Always exciting. Uploading a mod. Ah, uh, where is Tiny Lucian hiding his over here? Oh, hello, Creeks. Another new person. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad you could catch it live. Hey, Nuna! Oh, thanks so much for the follow, Lucius1024! Hello, Chaz the Medic! And hello, Hawk! So many friends, welcome! Right, let me do the do 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 And let's change, I'm gonna shrink now into my octagon. Just dive into the corner of the screen. Here I am! That didn't work because I jumped the wrong way. Um. Oh, and I'll just, we moved this up, didn't we, before, so, for the previous stream. So let me just put this back down into the corner a bit more, make it a bit tidier. Mm, then we'll go a bit further. Bear with. That'll probably do. Yeah, it's windowception, you've got infinite windows, you'll just have to bear with it for a sec. Okay, we'll go like that. Right! Here's the creation kit. No more infinite windows. Well, it's lovely to have, if not new people, people who I haven't spoken to on here before. That's very exciting. So thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, thanks, the K the K GoPro. I'll have a I'll have a listen. A listen? A read. I'll have a read after the stream. Yes, of course. I'll answer any questions you've got, so long as they're not too personal, I guess. But yeah, sure, fire away. It doesn't have to be modding related. It can be uh, modding, writing, voice acting. Anything, really. 
Ooh, tiny Lucian. Ooh, tiny Lucian. Ooh, tiny Lucian. He's on the screen. Ooh, tiny Lucian. Ooh, tiny Lucian. Ooh, tiny Lucian. He would never be mean. Well, I'm delighted to be your background noise. Very exciting, Wolf Scribbles. Oh, yay! Thanks so much for the bits, Fickle! You are a writer. What kind of discovery or architect? I, I, I don't know what that means. What is a discovery or architect writer? I've never heard those used before in terms of writing. It sounds like a sort of writing technique, kind of. Please elaborate. Haha, <laughs> Hawk, you won't catch me out so easily. David Tennant or Matt Smith, who is my favourite Doctor? What, of those two? Ooh, probably David Tennant just, but I loved Matt Smith as well. He was amazing. Beautiful hair. Thank you? Um, how is the best cat? The best cat is doing very well. Um, she is once again just sleeping to the left of my stream, out of camera. But when she wakes up, I will certainly give her any treats that you guys redeem for her. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Which kind? European or African? Oh, I'm glad your husband's enjoying Lonely Worlds. Good, I hope he likes it. Discovery Riser lets the story unfold on its own, is continually surprised by the direction it goes in, Architect plans out everything painstakingly advanced. Ah, I see, right, thanks for explaining. I'm much more of a discovery writer than an architect writer, really, because I find it sort of ruins the fun if I plan everything out in advance, because then I know how it all ends. Um, so, uh, yeah, I much more enjoy the experience if I allow it to be freer. Um, so, yeah, I suppose I'm discovery. Although I do obviously do a bit of planning, because you kind of need to plan things a bit if you ever want your story to have a twist or something in it. Um... So I, I plan, I'm a sort of mix of the two, leaning more towards Discovery. Hello, Sacrilicious. Welcome to the chat. Yes, it's baking. I don't approve. I'm building my first PC soon. Do you have any advice? Ooh, um, yeah, it's not as hard as you think it's going to be. Um, be careful. Um, have fun. It's quite good fun to do. Um, invest in a good graphics card if you can. To basically, there's with graphics cards and their cost, there's a sort of curve. And the better your graphics card is, the more and more you have to pay for it. So each percentage, like a 1% increase, uh, costs like $10 down at the bottom. And then as you get to really, if you get a really good graphics card, to get a 1% increase on that costs like $100 to move up to the next step. So try and find a good point on that curve where you're getting good value for money. Do look on various review websites and things. Um, can't really advise much more specifically than that, really. Um, get a solid state drive. That's quite important. Makes a world of difference. Yeah, not got much more than that. Oh, oh, and... And have a little pot by you. Uh, like a little tub. Um, a little bowl or something while that you're assembling the PC. So that all those little screws that you have... Put them in there so that you're not scrummaging around on the floor for them. That makes a world of difference. What is your opinion of the shoe bill? I don't know what a shoe bill is, so I couldn't tell you. Hogwarts house and favourite Harry Potter book? Um, I'm probably a Ravenclaw slash slight Hufflepuff. Don't know. Somewhere between Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff, if I had to push for it. Favourite Harry Potter book? Ooh. Um... I really liked the later ones from how dark they got, because I really enjoyed that sort of progression of the maturity. But I also really enjoyed the whimsical nature of the earlier ones, so it's hard to say. Um, Half-Blood Prince really hit me emotionally, that one. I don't know, I've never really thought about it before. But may that's the one that sticks in my mind the most. So maybe that one? I don't know. Hello there, Sonic Man. Um, yes, do always make sure you're grounded. That's also important when you're building a PC. Hello, Cillian. Welcome to the stream. 
My brain heart is baking. I don't prefer... <laughs> no, baking is in warm. Um, don't use a hammer. That's also true. Oh, yeah. Do worry. Your main priority should be the motherboard and the CPU. Yeah, um, because you can't change those nearly as easily as you can a motherboard. So definitely make sure you're future proofing with your motherboard and your CPU. Um... Bum, 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 bum. I mean, I'll be honest, Cillian, I was just guessing, but that is how it looks like it should be pronounced. So, yay, I'm glad I won. What am I up to? Today we are working on Lucian. Specifically, we are working on finishing off the Bone Wolf patch that we started in the last session. However, I have opened the wrong version of the creation kit, because I'm a fool. So I'm just going to switch back to camera mode while I open the correct creation kit. Let's try that again. Ooh, Detective Lucian. Ooh, Detective Lucian. Ooh, Detective Lucian. He's on the case. That's more like it. Right, let's switch back. Screen with camera. Right, Tiny Lucian, you and I are going to mod us a mod, all right? Nod if you agree. He nodded. Right. So let's try and find that Bone Wolf patch now, then. There it is at the bottom. Cool. Uh, excellent. Press OK. Nod to mod the mod. Any specific inspiration for Lucian Flavius? Um, I was answering this question yesterday, actually, in the last stream. Um, no. He's kind of... A lot of... There's a lot of me in him. A lot of what he does is kind of how I think I might act in Skyrim. Uh, so he's, yeah, a lot inspired by myself, but also he's more heroic. Um, a lot of it is just what I thought would be funny and interesting for a character, you know, that, um, juxtaposes with your barbarians and your strong masculine hero figures, you know, going for a different interpretation of getting, getting away from that stereotype of what it means to be a male hero and, um, creating a more interesting character than that. Uh, it was part of what drove Lucian as well. Um, he's massively inspired by Doctor Who, actually. There's a lot of um, a lot of Doctor Who in him, I think. That concept of someone who uh, is the hero and saves the day, um, but not necessarily by punching people. Although Lucian does, of course, stab people because it's Skyrim. But, you know, he's more intellectual than that, which was nice, I think. Yes, high int, low whiz. Favourite clone trooper variant in Star Wars? Um, I like the phase one look probably better than the phase two. Can't really comment much more than that. Oh, I love an arc trooper. Arc troopers are pretty cool. Um, I have recently been working on a mod which introduces a stream dice roll game. It basically rolls a random number between one and ten. One to five bad things will happen to your character. Six to ten good things will happen. That sounds fun. Sounds like a neat idea. What's my favourite Skyrim quest? My favourite Skyrim quest would be... Heck. Um... I really liked sneaking into the Thalmor Embassy. That was very exciting. The whole stealth aspect of that and the distraction and the hidey hide and then the... Sneaking around. I really enjoyed that. Maybe that. Favourite and least favourite locations in Skyrim. Oh, sorry. Uh, Yin Spirit, I'm getting fingerprinted today for my new job. I didn't know that was a thing, but cool. Favourite and least favourite locations in Skyrim. Uh, least favourite location would be... Um, the Aretino residence in Windhelm. Because that place is creepy. Um, favourite location would be... I love Solitude. Solitude's gorgeous. Wonderful city. So, uh, maybe that. Maybe just Solitude in general. Oh, thanks so much for the sub, Sonomurko! I'm so sorry when we were, um, Sonomurko and I, when we were playing, um, Elder Scrolls Legends the other, other day, by the way, I disappeared at the end without saying anything, and I'm really sorry for that. I, the thing happened at home, and I had to dash off, and then when I came back, you'd gone. So, hope you didn't think I was being rude by that. Um, but it was great fun playing with you. What tip of Imperial is he? Colovian or Nibane? I don't know what that means, necessarily. I'm not good enough on the lore. 
Uh, I think someone explained it to me before, and frankly, I've forgotten. I'm really sorry. He's from the Imperial City. I hope that helps you. He's always lived in the Imperial City. His family are from the Imperial City. So whatever kind of Imperial that makes him, he's that. What am I working on today? Today, when I'm finally done with these questions, I'm working on Lucian's Bone Wolf interaction patch. Blood on the Ice was a good quest. It was very interesting. Very detective-y. Ooh, Detective Lucian. Yeah, I love that too, Nuna. I think it's a really nice uh, spectrum of characters. Favourite guild questline? Majors Guild. Well, not Majors. College of Winterhold. College of Winterhold. Love the College of Winterhold. Least favourite quest? Any of the scary Daedra ones. I in particular don't like the uh, the Molag Baal and the um, Namira quests. I never do those. Hate them. Horrible stuff. Oh yeah, House of Horrors, exactly. Tacrilicious agrees. Um, you should get into Elder Scrolls Legends, it's brilliant. Is ESO still a monthly subscription, or is it now you just need to buy the box? Yes, so it's a one-off purchase up front, and then you can pay for a monthly subscription if you want to automatically unlock all the DLC, or alternatively you can buy them in one-off packages as well. On the weekend we save Lucian in our Skyrim D&D campaign. Oh, that sounds fun! Do let me know how that works out. What's your favourite Monty Python sketch? Um, either the parrot sketch or the argument clinic. Those are both gold. Yes, I know if you sneak in with the hooded Thalmor robe into the Thalmor embassy, you can sneak much more. I love that aspect of it. Very good role playing. Right, this is a modding question, not sure if it makes sense, but how this is from Megasoki. How does dialogues without prompting from the player work? Will they randomly say something and you can continue that dialogue tree? Oh, right, okay. So that is what's called a force greet. Um, so a force greet is a package that will run on your character. Um, so you can apply that either using a quest alias or straight onto the NPC. Um, let me see if I can find one for Lucian. Um trying to think when I used one. When did I, when does Lucian force greet you? It's not often that he does because it tends to be quite disruptive when that happens. I mean, he does in his personal quest, as I recall. Uh, let me see. It's in JR Lucian personal one. Spoilers for the personal quest here, by the way, if you haven't played it. So do look away for the next couple of minutes if you want to preserve that. But it's at the end of the quest here. Here we go, where he says, well, that was intense, right? I think that's a force greet. Um, and it's blocking dialogue, which means it takes over the dialogue when you engage. Um, and I think, I think it's probably under quest aliases. Let me have a look. Wait for it to load up. Here we are. J.R. Lucian Doomsbathar Force Greet Package. So let's open that up. And what you do is if you create this package um, and you use the Force Greet Package template and you condition it so that it only plays at the right time. So this is conditioned for the end of Lucian's personal quest. And you put it on the package stack here, the alias package data. And when this becomes valid, it'll mean that the NPC will approach you, will run towards the player, provided you're within a certain distance of them. So here I've set the radius to 5,000. Um, and uh, before that, he will just wait, but he won't. So this is, I've set the wait location as being at the player. So he will run towards the player. And then when he gets within 300 of the player, he will engage them in dialogue and will start the J.R. Lucian Personal One Dooms Bathar conclusion chat topic so that's how that works basically so you can create packages like that to apply at a particular time and that will cause um dialogue to start playing i hope that helps i don't usually use creation club stuff because they have no compatibility patched for legacy of the dragonborn yes they do actually if you have a look on uh, legacy of the dragonborn 
Uh, on the Nexus, if you search for Legacy of the Dragonborn Creation Club, you will find the Creation Club patches patch hub for Legacy of the Dragonborn, which will allow you to put all the Legacy of the Dra all the Creation Club items in your museum. I use it. It's by Gelidity, who I think is here watching the stream, or is certainly in the Discord, and it's awesome. So definitely check that out, Cillian. Um, because yeah, they are they are they do have compatibility patches. Who's your favourite character in Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra? Um, Sokka! Sokka's the best! He's hilarious! Oh, I hope your kitty gets better soon, baby Bill. Hey, Sir Criostoir, welcome to the stream. Good evening, Six Glitz. That's okay. There's, I've got loads of lore websites that I can look up whenever I want. Um, it's just never been relevant. I can't. The Elder Scrolls has an infinite amount of lore. It well, not an infinite, but masses of lore, and I look up stuff as it becomes relevant. Uh, what should you do for lunch? You should eat. Show your wallpaper, paper, please. No. Uh, it's just the Windows background anyway. But I'm not going to show you all my files and everything because I like to have a sort of secure computer without putting too much information on the internet. Um, I'm digging into making Frenzy, Fear, and Calm affect the player as well. So I set the player's AI-driven and apply an AI package to them. That sounds awesome and extremely complicated, Sacrilegious. I wish you luck. I'm sure that'll be amazing. Should we trust Clive? Up to you. You decide whether or not you should trust Clive. No, it's an entirely separate patch hub. There's a completely separate patch, patch hub for all the Creation Club files that you'll find on the Nexus. Favourite piece of Creation Club content? Saints and Seducers. It's amazing. Can we get Lucian saying, that's rough, buddy? Um, probably not. That doesn't sound very uh, law-friendly. Have you any plans for Lucian after his personal quest with the Dwemer Ruins? Yes, there's a third personal quest coming later this year, probably. Around Christmas time, maybe. I'm not quite sure. But I'm working on it. It's coming. The dungeon is already there. I need to make the quest for it. How do you keep your room so tidy? That is magic. I keep it tidy by tidying. Uh, I'm afraid I've got to insist on English only in the chat. Because I don't... Because uh, I need to be able to moderate it. So Todd would never tell ease. I'm afraid... I'm going to, uh, yeah, can you please not speak in other languages in the chat? And if you do again, I will have to ban you. Uh, so please don't. Um, I started playing that AA dun AI dungeon game last night. My game is getting weirder the further I go. Yes, that, it's a brilliant game. I love it. Um, Chaz the Medic, I'm looking to make a mod where Hadvar and Raylock can become followers after completing Civil War dialogue. Do you know how I could go about reusing some of Hadvar's old dialogue for his new follower dialogue? Yes, so what you want is the tool called, and I'll open it up here, it's called Lazy Voice Finder. Lazy Voice Finder you'll find on the Skyrim Special Edition Nexus. It's created by Bowmore Lover, who makes loads of these awesome tools, and you can use this to search through all the dialogue in the game. You can search by voice type, you can search by um, by plugin it comes from, you can search for the text in the dialogue, and then you can right click and extract that dialogue straight into a WAV uh, without having to open the BSA or anything like that. This is what you need to use if you want to repurpose existing dialogue, so definitely check this tool out. Lazy Voice Finder. No, I am definitely not Chinese. I am British. Welcome back, baby built. Because I was imagining him with the character going against the necromancer who's trying to raise a dragon to resume where Alduin left off. Oh, cool idea. I mean, no, that's not the direction the quest is going to go. Um, the quest is going somewhere completely different, but it's a cool idea. 
Um, is there a way to download audio files directly from Lazy Voice Finder? Yes, you just right click and you click export. It's that easy. You can get audio files straight out of the Skyrim BSA using Lazy Voice Finder. It's the easiest thing in the world. Well, probably not the easiest thing in the world, but it's pretty easy. Right, let's crack on then. Yeah, exactly. You temporarily um, uh, export them. My friend, can you make mod for having jump animation in Somersault? Absolutely not. I work on a follower mod called Lucian Flavius. That's what I'm working on today. Um, and I... That, a mod like I'm not interested in making other mods like that, no. Right, so we are on JR13 Lucian Bone Wolf. So, can't remember how far we got with this. Let's have a look. Sorry, my friend. Can you make Lucian have moustache? He already has facial hair. But there are many replacers out there. What S born work? I don't know what that means. Hawk says plain. Um, yeah. Right. Uh, bear with me one second. I'm just going to take a really quick, um, a really quick break of about two minutes because I need to reply to a message about my latest YouTube videos. I've been trying to sort a copyright issue with them and I can see I've got a reply so I will be right back in one sec. Uh, let's just switch to the break screen, there we go. Right, no, I'm back, just saw a party of a hundred. Can't exactly be on a break for that. Hi, hello, welcome friends. That is a lot of people. Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for raiding, um, Rebel Size. That is that is lovely of you. Hi, welcome, all of you. Uh, I guess you saw from the um, Beyond Skyrim Discord. Hi, yes, I am in fact Lucian's voice. Welcome. What what brings you all? What brings you all here? Uh, right. Um, yes, I was just replying to a message, but that can wait for a sec. Le I am currently making a tutorial, uh, a tutorial stream thing about working on an interaction patch for Lucian. So that's what I'm working on today. Oh, from Sky Oblivion. Of course. Sorry. Yes. Hi. So what did you just see the stream and thought you'd do a raid? I am, of course, very excited for Sky Oblivion when that does come out. But um. But uh, I know that's not planned for a long time. Is Lucian related to Lucian Lachance? No, because when you're related to someone, you share a surname, not a first name. Well, thank you so much for raiding. Um, I guess I'll show you guys some content. Thanks so much for the follows. Yay, love the glings. Um, right, okay. I'm going to switch over then to the creation kit. Put on my screen with camera. Here we go. Welcome back, baby Bill. Bobzilla says, how hard would it be for me to make a dragon mod that adds a dragon who just comments on different things the Dragonborn does in his playthrough, including modded quests and characters? It would be tricky to do as a trickier to do as a dragon than it would be with an NPC, but I see no reason why you couldn't do that. I think it's definitely a achievable. Um, you might want to look into the implementation that was used for Parthenax, Odoving, and um, Dernavir, the other the other dragons who are, you know, who you can talk to. Um, but I'm sure I see no reason why you couldn't do that. I'm just here because JR getting giddy. <laughs> Would you chug a whole bottle of water if everyone started redeeming hydrate at once? Uh... Probably not a whole bottle, but I try to fulfill the requests as much as possible. Thanks so much for all the follows, people. This is very exciting. Right, okay. So, I'm working on Lucian's Bone Wolf patch. So here we've got the dialogue uh, that we set up last time. So we've got a high, we've got a hello dialogue here. Vigilance and Wolfie seem to be behaving well with one another. We've got various lines for idols. We've got... Dark Necromancers attacking innocents. We went through the quest line, and then we had a couple of idols for chatting with the Bone Wolf. 
Um, Joseph, do you like Morrowind? I'm afraid I've never played Morrowind, but I do, I do mean to start playing it at some point in the near future. So I'll probably do that on stream sometime. Uh, so we have various lines for him to say with the Bone Wolf, and we got as far as we have two shared info lines to use regarding the quest, which adds up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lines of dialogue altogether, and we could probably do with more. No, I do have it. I do have Morrowind. Oh, thanks for the posture check, and thank you for the follow! Right, so I was going to go over to, I'm going to go over to UESP and we'll have a quick look to see what sort of stuff is in the Bone Wolf file. If there's anything we missed, UESP Bone Wolf. Right, this is from the Bone Wolf creation, so here we are. Bone Wolf is a creation that adds a Bone Wolf pet, carries items to you, da 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 da. And we have got, we commented on the key, we commented on the totem bone, we commented on fighting bone wolves, I believe, because we had combat dialogue there under the combat tab. Which is probably plenty. And we commented on the necromancer's journal and the letter from Bulgar Bayoclaw. So to be honest, we've probably got comments on most of the stuff in this mod. Um, but maybe we could add a few more generic hellos about it. The whole world's come to the dogs. Yeah, maybe we could do something with that. Bum 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 bum. A fistful of sky. How can anything go wrong? And oh, for shame, I do not even know your name. My name is Marius Pomme de Terre. And I'm Courgette. A little bit of lame is for you. Yeah, it is a little bit unsettling, but I also think it's kind of sweet. I mean, look at it. Look at him. He means well. Look at that happy little face. Those adorable little puppy eye sockets. What, Nuna? Is there an option to call Lucian a doofus at any point? Because sometimes I wish I could. Well, doofus obviously is not a law-friendly term. So, probably not. There is an option to tell him he's being not intelligent uh, during the winking skeever scene. Um, or rather, to criticise him slightly. And there's another option um, in his second personal quest where you can be upset with him, saying he made a bad decision. But I don't think you can, you can tell him he's a doofus. I know that it's pretty much impossible to make a compatibility patch for interesting NPCs because you can't add dialogue, but you could have a tiny thing where Lucian just walks around seeing walls of wa your basket. It's not impossible to make a patch for interesting NPCs, not at all. I do plan on doing so at some point in the future. I can definitely get in touch with some of the voice actors, and I'm sure one or two of them at least will be willing to record some dialogue. And if nothing else, I can make him comment on the various quests and things. No, I can certainly do that. Interesting NPCs is one of my all-time favourite mods, so I'd love to do something like that. <sighs> making a follower is a lot of fun. You should definitely do it. If you've ever considered making a follower mod, I can thoroughly recommend it. And you will find... Uh, a tutorial series on my YouTube channel, which I've just recently started, called How to Make a Follower Mod Like Lucian Flavius. I'm going to drop you a link to that while you're all here. Here is my YouTube channel, which is I'm putting in the chat now. If you sub to that, you'll find um, uh, various tutorials and things which will tell you exactly how to make a follower mod. Uh, just like Lucian Flavius. So yeah, do check that out. And I've also got a Let's Play series where I'm role-playing as Lucian. Uh, going through the game, which is quite good fun. And uh, yeah, various other stuff. Do check it out. Really appreciate it if you could. Um, anyway, right. On with the modding. So I think the only thing we've really got left to add is a couple of hellos. And then we'll get into some voice acting. So we had Vigilance and Wolfie seem to be behaving well with one another. Which was a comment on both of them. 
Um, you're a computer scientist, are you, silly? And that's pretty cool. Would be rad for Lucian mod detecting 3D NPC, though, all those possible scenes. Yeah, it would be awesome. Definitely something I'd like to do at some point in the future. But it would take an awful long, an awfully long time, you know, because it's a lot of work to set up something like that. So, let's have another line of dialogue. Um... Do you think our bone wolf is any pain? Is in any pain? Probably best not to think about it. No, we already had that line. We had a line about zombies before with the zombie thing. We had, do we think zombies feel pain? Probably best not to think about it. Maybe we won't go with that. Um, Chinese lunch or... And I never know how to say that. Is it pronounced chipotle? Uh, Yinsbert says, I'm having trouble with my follower adding a custom hair from another mod with permission. I can get the messages imported, but the textures are missing, even though they're in the BSA. Any ideas what I'm missing? Not necessarily. It's not really my field, textures and meshes. Um, it could be that you've got them in the wrong file structure within the BSA. You might want to check that out. Make sure that it's all, all the directories are set up properly. Anyway, hi Shiva. Welcome to the stream. Chipotle. Well, I'm going to keep saying Chipotle. Because I think it's more fun. Uh. Mm. Our Bone Wolf is a very good boy. There we go. We'll just have that. Our Bone Wolf is a very good boy. And we'll have a look at the implementation that we had in the idle we had. In here, we had the check to see that the pet was recruited and various other conditions that we'll copy and paste. We've already got quite, uh, we've already got two lines about liking bones, so we probably don't want to, um, don't want to do more than that. Potatoes! Mash them, boil them, stick them in a stew! And we don't need to get random percents on this. We'll probably just have a get random percent less than 50. Because this is a hello in the hello stack. It's Dio. Hello, Dio. Welcome to the stream. Uh, so we already had that. We're going to set this to random because we want this to be a random line added to the random hello stack. Hours until reset. We'll set to 24. And I reckon that's probably enough for now. So we'll move on from there. Bum, 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 da, 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 da. Wow, 94 viewers. That is more than I've ever had before. Very nice to have you all here. Please stick around. Get my average view count up quite a bit. I think stupid, something about stupid dog would be a line in general for having dogs following you. We're trying to go specifically for things to do with the bone wolf here. Thanks so much for the follow, Dibna! So many new followers on this stream, it's very exciting. Dee 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 do and oh for shame, I do not even know your name. Hmm. Oh no, I'm not having Lucian call the dog stupid. Absolutely not. It would be just um criticizing other people for calling them stupid dogs or something. I'm not saying Lucian would say stupid dog. And Lucian has sort of already named the dog Wolfie. Do you think there's a shampoo slash spell that can lessen the, that smell a little bit? Yeah, maybe. Let's see. I'm not usually a fan of undead. But our bone wolf is really starting to grow on me. Uh, no, hang on. 
because this line could of course play later on when you've had him for a long time. But our bone wolf is really rather delightful. There we go. Oh yay, thanks so much for the sub, Morticia. That's really kind of you. Hope you enjoy that, Wolf Scribbles. Tiny Lucy, and you can just hop down there. Right. Bum 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 da 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 da. Oh, he has got an ear. He's got one ear. <laughs> Lucian is a very wholesome boy, Cinnamon Roll and Scholar. This is true. That dog probably smells awful. You only need one ear to be a good boy. What? I don't need any ears to be a good boy. Does he have a nose? No. Ha! Our dog's got no nose. So how does he smell? Don't look at me like that. It's a serious question. So I'm just, uh, yes. It's a subtle, well, not subtle. It's a reference. But it's not a reference. But, you know, it's the common gag. <sighs> Time to get rid of your ears, Hawk. <laughs> Having no nose is better than a long and warty one, yeah. That's true for those of us who watched my stream last night. That was a trip. And we'll have maybe one more. I loved it too. Right, um... Anything else? Does anything else strike me? About this guy. Lucian Flavia is asking the important questions. True, yes. I don't know how susceptible he'd be to boopery. Does Lucian have cats? Lucian has one cat, which he mentions. Uh, he says Inigo reminds him of it. Dread to think what my cat would think of our bone wolf. Dread to think what my cat would make of our bone wolf. There we go. And that is probably enough lines now. So, we can probably close this down then and start some voice acting. Do, 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 do. Could Lucy and Cat be a Khajiit since some Khajiit can be born in very different forms? No, it's just a cat. Lucian has an ordinary cat. <laughs> How can anything go wrong? Toss a coin to your hero, O oh, Valley of White Run, O oh, Valley of White Run, oh. Toss a coin to your hero, O Valley of White Run. Here you go. So I've got to open this up in SSE Edit now because 
the um because I've flagged this as an ESL, but if we open this up, you'll instantly see we've got all of these errors. Because even though it was flagged as an ESL, when you edit it in the creation kit, it doesn't properly use the correct form IDs that an ESL requires. So it tries to put them in a place which doesn't exist for an ESL, so they all need to be renumbered. And if you'd record your voice acting before you renumber them, then you've then got to rename all your voice files to match the new numbering system you've used, if that makes sense. So you've got to do this vital step, which is renumbering your form IDs, before you start the voice acting, unless you want to introduce a whole load of trouble. Yes, Lucian does sing. He sings quite a lot. Some people find it annoying. I wish there was more dialogue between Lucian and Inigo too, but alas, um, it's very difficult splicing dialogue and I'm not very good at it. So until Gary ever found himself in a situation where he was willing and had time to record dialogue, original dialogue, which would be an absolutely amazing thing to happen. But until we ever find ourselves in that situation, uh, it's probably unlikely that Lucian and Inigo will get more dialogue. So I'm now going to do right click on the file and I'm going to click renumber form IDs from and then I'm going to type in 800, which is the lowest that's possibly allowed. And I'm going to hit OK. And it gives you a warning and we're just going to hit yes. And that has now renumbered. So we've got these numbers now occupy all the slots from 800 up until the highest number, which is good. So if we now control an S, save the files and then we run check for errors, you should now see that we've got no errors. Errors found zero. So we've fixed that, which is good. Joseph, your room is so clean, it makes me nervous. I mean, I do tend to tidy up before the stream to make sure it is clean in the background, yeah. Oh, you like my voice? Thanks, A Fistful of Sky. That's nice of you to say. We love no errors. This is correct. Is Lucian marriageable? Marriable? No, he is not. And I'm afraid it's not planned for the future. Sorry. Heartbreaker. Breaking hearts since September 2018. So now, I the last thing I want to do is clean the masters here. So at the moment we have some unnecessary master files. And I'm just going to clean those just to make things a little bit tidier. There we go. So Skyrim update, Bone Wolf and Lucian are now the only master files there. So we are now ready to reopen this in the creation kit and start recording some dialogue. I have a very clean voice. Thank you, I think. Clean is, clean is good. Is it? I think it is. Do you renumber whenever you update Lucian's base mod too? No, absolutely not. If you renumbered, uh, if I renumbered Lucian's base mod, it would change the IDs of all the dialogue lines. So I would need to go into every single recorded line of dialogue for Lucian, of which there are over 3,000, and rename them all to match what line they're supposed to match up to. That would be a nightmare. So no, absolutely not. You can only do any renumbering before you record dialogue. And the only reason you would want to do renumbering is if you're making your file into an ESL because they have a limited number of records that they can use. And yes, Lucian isn't marriable because I don't particularly want to write a romance. It's not the story I'm trying to tell here. I'm trying to tell a different story, really, rather than the romance story. And it would mean I'd have to pretty much completely remake my mod uh, if I wanted to change all the dialogue to make sense if you were in a relationship with Lucian, because I wrote all the dialogue for a platonic friendship with Lucian. I mean, the closest you'll get to Grey being a follower is the jacuzzi follower I'm making in my uh, YouTube series. I mean, the fact is, Lucian's just not that into you. That's what you'll have to accept. Right, so we're now ready to start recording this. I usually work left to, left to right when I'm recording my dialogue so I don't miss stuff. So I'm going to start with this line here. 
because we skipped the shared ones. And to record it, I'm going to open up Cubase, which is my audio software of choice. I'm going to get, it, get that loading up. Jacuzzi's real name is Count Grey. Heck. Oh, and no, absolutely not everyone will be into you just because you wear a fancy Nexus. Right, no valid license found. The program will quit now. That is not what I wanted from Cubase. Uh, so, however, if I run it with as administrator, sometimes that fixes the problem. If I did a follow-up, I'd like romance to be a choice, you know? Oh, definitely. It should definitely be a choice. You should never force a romance on a player. That is only going to annoy people. Because a lot of people aren't going to want to romance your follower. But the problem with doing it as a choice, of course, is you have to have two versions of so many of your dialogue lines. Because when Lucian's like, how are you doing, my friend? You wouldn't say, how are you doing, my friend, to someone you're married to. You wouldn't call them my friend, in all probability. It wouldn't make sense. So all those lines where Lucian says, my friend, boss, anything like that, would all have to be rewritten. And also a whole load of other ones where he doesn't necessarily say that word, but any other, you know, doesn't necessarily say that word, but still the tone, the tone has to match. You want to do it well, you see. You don't want to just have an extra thing where you can wear a necklace and you'll unlock a few more dialogue lines. <laughs> I might record it and put it in the mod. I'm so sorry. I'm just not that into you. Now, something's gone wrong here with my audio processing. Because it's not, it's not doing what I want it to do. Why is it not doing that? Uh, let me do device setup. Focus right, Scarlet, ASIO. Are you not? Something's going very strange with this today. Uh, device manager? No, that's not what I want. Devices, VST connections. It says it's connected. It thinks it is. I might try closing it and opening it again. Sorry, guys, bear with me on this. Do it. Yes, do it. He calls you boss because it's a term of affection, you know. You're the you're the guy leading the way. He's following you, so he calls you boss. You know, he's he's not. He doesn't mean he doesn't seriously think he works for you. It's just his thing. It's a sort of in joke for you. That's how it was intended when I wrote it, anyway. Right. Let's try this again. Toss a coin to your witcher, O oh, valley of plenty, O oh, valley of plenty, whoa. Okay, audio's still not working, so let me try and find out why that is, so we can record some dialogue. The driver at the moment is Focusrite Scarlet ASO, what if I change that? Thanks so much for the bits, Vickil! Oh, you're gonna do that every time I sing? In that case, I'll sing more. Uh, no, device setup. What if I change this? This might make the audio temporarily drop out on the stream. If it does, I promise I will restore it as soon as possible. Don't panic. Okay, guys, so what you'll notice is the audio quality has gone down the drain because you're now being picked up on my microphone webcam rather than, on my, my webcam microphone rather than this microphone because this one has just sort of fallen over. I don't know why it's not doing its job. So I'm working on that, and I will do my best to get that up and running as soon as possible. But I thought I'd at least turn it back on so that you can see what's going on, you know, so I can reassure you that I am in fact still here. I'm sure we've lost everyone who was on the, um, uh, on the raid, but there we go, that's life. I'm normally a big fan of dogs, but I must confess, I have a bone to pick with you.
Oh, thanks so much for the subs and the bits. Thank you so much for the bits, Shiva, and for the subs, Nuna. That's really kind of both of you. Though the gling sounds aren't happening, the sound is all just a disaster at the moment. Um, I don't know why. I don't know what's happened to the sound on the stream. None of the sound things are responding apart from the microphone thing. I don't understand. I need to try and fix it, but... It's an imaginary gling. Normally a big fan of dogs, but I must confess I have a bone to pick with you. Here we go. A big fan of dogs, but I must confess I have a bone to pick with Can you me. guys hear that when that plays? Probably not. I might be able to fix it, don't know. No, can't fix that. Oh, you can hear it because of it's coming out the speakers and being picked up by the webcam microphone. Oh dear. Right, I might normally be a fan of dogs, must confess I have a bone to pick with you. So I'm just going to switch you back across to the camera while I sort out the file structure. Which is going to be under data. Sound voice. And I'm going to create a new folder. Two questions. How would Lucian react to Kratos from God of War? I've never played God of War, so I'm afraid I don't know. Although I know he looks like a scary chap. Um, so, yeah, he'd be scared. And how would he react to Godzilla? He would also be scared. But both of these, both scared and fascinated. In equal measure. And yes, if you stay subscribed, he does indeed get cool hats. He gets a different hat for every month you're subscribed. Right, that's that one set up. The other one. They are wonderful, aren't they? Uh, Sky Morning. Here we go. Right. I can now switch the camera back then. You guys can see what's going on. Right, so I've got two folders set up. I've got the uh, Skyrim modding folder, which is where all the audios are exported to. And I've got the JR Lucian voice folder over here, which is where we need to place it. And we exported the line. Uh, we haven't exported it yet. So I'm gonna go highlight just that section. And then file, export, audio mix down. Lucian bone wolf patch one. Export, post check. Thank you. Hydrate. Ooh. Crick in my neck. It was lovely of you to do them for me, Shiva. Very wonderful of you to provide those Lucian hats. Because they're adorable. So let's record another line of dialogue. Oopsie daisy. Let's find the next one. Uh, oh, no, of course, we need to sort this one out first. So we exported it over here, drag it into there, and then I need to rename it. And I'm going to rename it to the voice file name that is displayed here. It's a rename like that. There we go. So just the plug, if you guys don't mind, any of you who are watching this stream and aren't currently following me, please do consider clicking that heart button because it'll mean you'll get a notification next time I do one of these streams when hopefully the microphone will be working properly. Um, and yeah, do do give me a follow if you don't mind, if you haven't done already, it makes me very happy. So just a request. Good undead doggy. Nice undead doggy. Nope, it's not working at all, is it? Good 
good undead doggy. Nice undead doggy. No, it's not working at all, is it? Oh, thanks, Mayor Megasoki. Books, yes, I write books. I have this one. It's called Lonely Worlds. It's a novella that I wrote. It's a fantasy sci-fi adventure novel sort of thing um, with multiverse traveling. And um, yeah, I wrote it a couple of years ago. It's available on Amazon. There's a link in the description underneath. Well, there's a big picture of a book underneath the stream. And if you click on that, it'll take you straight there. Um, yeah, do check it out. Really appreciate that. Do you sometimes worry that some lines sound too much like you and not like Lucian? No, I worry the other way around. When I'm doing things as me, not as Lucian, uh, like uh, presentations and stuff, uh, I worry that I sound too much like Lucian when I'm doing them and I forget how to speak in my own natural voice. that over there and rename the dialogue and generate the lib file there we go that's that one done <laughs> Nuna. those worlds are so lonely <laughs> No point in throwing this dog a bone, I suppose. There goes the book. No point in throwing this dog a bone, I suppose. No point in throwing this. No point in throwing this dog a bone, I suppose. No point in throwing this dog a bone, I suppose. Yeah, that'll do. I've mentioned before in these streams, I tend to work by the principle of that'll do, because when you're recording this many lines of dialogue, it takes a very long time um, to record them all. And if you start letting yourself get bogged down in thinking, oh, I could do that line better. Oh, if I just said it with that much more, it'd be that much more perfect. You spend forever on it and you'll never get anything done. So I tend to go by the principle of, was this line good enough for what I want? Was it, will it do? Was, does it not have weird audio effects on it? Was the quality okay? Does it sound vaguely realistic? And I go with that because otherwise to, um, to spend more time on it than just that is a problem really. So yes, cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hello, I'm Lucian Plavis and I'm doing a presentation on bioengineering. Oh, Yin Spirit, you just bought it. Thank you so much. Oh, and thanks so much for subbing to my Patreon, Victoria. I'm assuming that's the same, that's the same you as, um, I assume you're Vickle. Thank you so much. That's incredibly generous of you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, right, so we were on to the next line of dialogue then. How many of these did we do? We carried that across. We need to do the third one, which is Bone Wolf 3. How much is that dog in the window? The one with the decayed zombie tail. <laughs> oh, valley of plenty. Oh, valley of plenty. Oh. Right. Uh, here we go. Right. Next line. Vigilance and Wolfie seem to be behaving well with one another. I've garbled that slightly. Let's try it again. Vigilance and Wolfie seem to be behaving well with one another. One more time. Oh, car. Vigilance and Wolfie seem to be behaving well with one another. With one little 
Vigilance and Wolfie seem to be behaving well with one another. That'll do. That'll do. That's the take. Uh, Lonely World's easily in my top five books in the entire Wounded Kingdom trilogy is taking up three spaces and replaced the redemption of Ath Althalus at number four. Thank you so much, May. That's lovely of you to say. Okay, Grover, we saw Croc among all the desktop, I desktop items. Yes, because Croc is my favourite game ever. That's why. Gotta have Croc. Vigilance and Wolfie seem, Vigilance and Wolfie seem to be behaving well with one another. There we go, we'll export that. Do you have a favourite music mod for Skyrim when you play it? Yes, I like immersive music. The one that adds all the tracks by Vinswept. And others. But it's a Hoth Trooper mod, I think. Boom, boom, boom. And a bunch of Witcher tracks as well, I think. Thanks so much for the follow, the Kiwi Fruit Bird. Really appreciate it. Oh no, the original soundtrack is beautiful. I just like to add more to it. I would never have a replacer for the soundtrack. I just like the one that adds more music on top of it to give it a bit more variety. Right, here we go, another line. Oh, Bone Wolf is a very good... Mm -mm. What happened there? <clears throat> Our Bone Wolf is a very good boy. No, no, don't like it. Try again. Our Bone Wolf is a very good boy. Our Bone Wolf is a very good boy. Our Bone Wolf is a very good boy. One more time. Ah, oh, Bone Wolf is a very good boy. Ah, oh, Bone Wolf is a very good boy. Eh, sorry, it's taken me a lot of takes to get one I'm happy with. That was me saying about the that'll do principle. Ah, oh, Bone Wolf is a very good boy. Nope. Ah, Bone Wolf is a very good boy. No, why can't I do it? Why am I, why am I taking so... How do I want it to sound? That's the thing. How do I want it to sound? I want it to be a bit silly. Ah, Bone Wolf is a very good boy. Is a very good boy. Very good boy. It's gone weird. I've done it too many times. Such a good boy. It's that sort of thing. Ah, oh, Bone Wolf is a very good boy. Ah, that'll do. Ah, oh, Bone Wolf is a very good boy. I'm not like a hundred percent happy with it, but Ah, oh, Bone Wolf is a very good boy. It'll do. Right. Export that. <laughs> You're so welcome. Ooh, Detective Lucian, ooh, Detective Lucian, ooh, Detective Lucian is on the case. Right. I'm not usually a fan of the undead, but our Bone Wolf is really rather delightful. I'm not usually a fan of the undead, but our Bone Wolf is really rather de I'm not usually a fan of the undead. I'm not usually a fan of the undead. Where does that start? Hang on, there's a slight click at the front that I want to get rid of. There we go, we'll start from there. 
No, hang on. We'll start from there. I'm not. Perfect. I'm usually a fan of the undead, but our bone wolf is really rather delightful. We have a shout out request. Hang on. A shout out to sweet rolls. Just a general shout out to sweet rolls here from Megasaki. There we go. Sweet rolls in general have been shouted out. Have you ever re-recorded slash redone any of Lucian's dialogue in updates? And if not, if you had the time, would you do so? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty happy with all the dialogue in the mod. I've never heard one back that I thought, oh, I wish I'd done that differently. A multiplayer game of Dungeon AI. I've never tried one of those, but I'd like to try sometime. My friend said, I can't drown in friends. And the AI made mine say, I can't drown. Wow. I mean, that's a useful superpower. Right. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So we've done all of that. So that line should have... What happened there? Did I not export this yet? Toss a coin to your witcher, O oh, Valley of Plenty. There once was a hero named Lucian Flavius, not built like a soldier, but as bold and as confident, wielding magical spells and knowledge of plenty. He strikes dragons out of the sky. dog's got no nose. So how does he smell? Don't look at... Mm, ah, I messed it up. Our dog's got no nose. So how does he smell? Don't look at me like that. It's a serious question. Everyone should record Ragnar the Red if you're making a follower mod. Ah, dog's got no nose. So how does he smell? Oh, thank you so much for the bits, Vickle. Like it's a serious question. You're being so spectacularly generous. Honestly, um, I'm saving up to move to a new flat at the moment, like I mentioned. Um, I'm looking flat hunting now every day at the moment, trying to find something. And all these donations that come through make such a difference to what I can and can't afford. Um, and hopefully should mean that I'm able to get somewhere that's got a bit more space in the future that allows me to record independently without having to worry so much about making noise and things like that. Should free up my schedule quite a bit more. Our so dog's got no nose. So how does he smell? So thank you. Don't look at me like that. It's a serious question. There we go. Bone Wolf Patch 7. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from old Rorikstead. And the braggart swagger and brandished his blade as he told of bold battles and gold he had made. Alright, another line. Oops. I dread to think what my cat would make of our bone wolf. I dread to think what my cat would make of our bone wolf. There we go, that'll do. One and done. I 
Dread to think what my cat would make of our bone wolf. Bone wolf patch eight. How does that statistic still exist? How does what statistic still exist? Yeah, Lucian has a cat. He mentions having a cat um, in his dialogue with Inigo. The bone wolf patch then da, 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 there's line number eight. We're getting through these. And generate lip file for that one. Uh, a couple more questions coming through here. If I have an interest on dub stuff, where should I begin? I know it's very theatrical. I'm not quite sure what you're talking about there. If you mean you're interested in voice acting in general, I'm afraid I'm not a voice actor beyond this mod, so I can't really advise. Although I'm pretty sure there is a website called How to Get Into Voice Acting, so if you Google it, it might come straight up. I know they've got a lot of good advice there. Once Beyond Skyrim Cyrodiil releases, do you plan to add Lucian's home? I don't think I'd be able to get away from adding it. So yes, I think I would have to in some way, shape or form. Dark necromancers attacking innocents? Sounds like a job for a dashing hero and that handsome scholarly companion. Or if they're unavailable, us. Check, if you're hungry, go eat. Don't worry, I'll still be here when you get back. Dark necromancers attacking innocents. Sounds like a job for a dashing hero and that handsome scholarly companion. Or if they're unavailable, us. Thanks, silly, and glad you think so. No, 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 we're talking, he's talking about himself. He's talking about himself, Lucian, a, ha a hero and their handsome scholarly companion. He's not talking about the player. Dark necromancers attacking innocents? Sounds like a job for a dashing hero and their handsome scholarly companion. Or if they're unavailable, us. But yeah, dashing can be for boys or girls. I think any hero can be dashing. I don't think it's necessarily gender related. Oh! She hath awoken. I bring you a cat. Say hi to everyone. She says hi. It's grey. So she gets treats. For you guys who requested treats for grey, she shall be receiving treats. Let me make the camera big so that you can see her better. Come on you, come and sit over here so that they can see you. Sorry, microphone's in the way. She is there. She enjoys. She is most grateful. Let me just redeem those reward requests.
There we go, I've done the first five. For some reason it's let you request more, I don't know why. Because she's only getting five, because otherwise she'll get fat. There you go, she's off again. Oh. Right, anyway, where were we? Hydrate. Sure thing. Joseph Russell, is it all right for me to reference the Flavius family in a journal in my mod to be? I have an imperial relic hunter from the imperial city added to my mod, and since my backstory slash journal for him needs a rework, I'd like to add Davidicus Flavius in there. Yes, of course you can reference them. Of course you can. I'd love that. Adds nice continuity between mods. Go for it. You really do sound like Lucian when you speak, though, at least sometimes. That is because I voice Lucian. That's why. Um... Yeah, I, I, do, I very deliberately used a voice for Lucian that is very close to my own um, because that makes it much easier to sustain over long periods of time for lots of lines. Uh, the moment you start trying to change um, your voice quite a bit for a follower mod, uh, it makes it all a lot harder and you can potentially end up doing yourself vocal damage if you're straining or something like that. So uh, just by speaking more or less in a slightly posher version than my normal speaking voice, that tends to do the job quite well for me. So let's go back into the mod. Now did we actually export this line? No we didn't. Here we are. See you baby Bill. Have a great day. Thank you for dropping by for as long as you have done. Right, next line. Ugh! Consuming totems does not... No, let's try that again. Ugh! Consuming totems does not sound healthy. Or pleasant, for that matter. I expect the poor chap in that cage might like his bone back, though. I think Lucian looks great in the Explorer's Guild armor. Or pleasant for that. Ugh. Consuming totems does not sound healthy. Ugh. Consuming totems does not sound healthy. Thanks, a fistful of sky! Matter. I expect the poor chap in that cage might like his bone back, though. Your name, a fistful of sky, I don't suppose that's anything to do with uh, a hat full of sky by Terry Pratchett, is it? Or is it just a uh, coincidence? The title of another book, is it? Oh, fair enough. I just wondered, because I love Terry Pratchett. Massive source of inspiration for me. There we go, that's that one done. I think he likes you. He's rather sweet, really. In a decaying, undead sort of way. Oh, look, I think he likes you. He's rather sweet, really. In a decaying, undead sort of way. Here we go, and we'll export that. Do 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 ba ba da ba ba ya ba. I said, I fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. I fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. 
In other words... Right. Smells like decay. Ah, of course. Our wolf. Delightful. Rudely interrupted by a bird there. Delightful. Go on, you can go. Here we are. Something I was wondering for some time about the creation kit. If you make a location and assign a specific music to it, can you make some environment, like lights, move in time with it? No. I'm afraid you can't. That sounds like a bit of a nightmare. Sorry. She's such a good catter. The only way I could think of that you could do it is if you set the music to start and then you very carefully timed out when the lights should flash in sync with the music and then you had a script to say after two seconds flash, after another two seconds flash, after another five seconds flash. But it would be extremely clunky and intensive on the engine I think so I'm not sure whether that would be a good idea. I think that would be a bit tricky. See you, Megasaki! Smells like decay. Ah, of course. Our wolf. Delightful. Really? Full. Yeah, no, the bird's just on the end of that. Let's try it again. Smells like decay. Ah, of course, our oh, wolf. No, that was a bit weird. Smells like decay. Ah, of course, our oh, wolf. Delightful. Smells like decay. Ah, of course, our oh, wolf. Delightful. There you go, number 12, export. Bom, ba, bom, bom, bom. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 da, ba, 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 Wolfie! Want to play fetch? No, try again. Hey, Wolfie! No. Hey, Wolfie! Want to play fetch? I'll throw you a bone! Ah, sorry, that's a bit awkward, isn't it? Hey, Wolfie! Want to play fetch? I'll throw you a bone! Sorry, that's a bit awkward, isn't it? See you in spirit, enjoy your fingerprinting! There we go, and I'll export that. Okay, people, I am, if it's all right with you, well, whether or not it's all right with you, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take a very short break. I say very short. A short break, uh, probably between five and ten minutes. Um, and I will be right back after that to finish off doing this patch, probably for another hour when I get back. Um, so I shan't be too long. Uh, go and grab yourself a drink or whatever. Make yourself a cup of tea. Tea is good. And um, I will see you back here really soon. Otherwise, please don't dash off. I mean, do if you want. I'm not the boss of you. You can stay or you can go, whatever you like. But I will be back really soon. So, um, yeah, I will see you in five to ten minutes-ish. Bye! Hello, I'm back. Hope you didn't go anywhere or you did and you're back. I don't know how many people are still here. 
but I hope you're all still here. Hi, how are you? Um, just fiddling with these microphone settings. Uh, hang on, where's it coming? No, it's not coming in through the microphone, is it? It's coming through the webcam. Yeah, that's the webcam mic. Oh, well, I hope it's still okay and that the quality isn't too bad. I haven't been able to fix the uh, microphone. I was trying to on the break a little bit to see if I could. And I don't know why it's not playing. Something to do with the sound card, I think, and the um, whatever the audio driver is. But I think that's something for me to try and fix for the next stream. Uh, anyway... Let's crack on with uh, living with the audio as it is. So let's crack on with recording. So we got as far as setting up this line, which was the one about throwing a bone. So now we need to do this one. So I'm just going to switch this across back to screen with camera so you can see what's going on. Wait for the plane to uh, die away. Right, that's probably good enough. What's that, Wolfie? You want a sweet roll? Oh, go on then. I can never resist those puppy eye sockets. Ah. Oh, no, hang on, I need to listen with the headphones now because I switched the audio driver across. <laughs> cool. You return with your tea. Welcome back, May. Bone Wolf patch 14. Export. There we go. So just a quick reminder for anyone who's not done it or anyone who's just joined or whatever, um, please do consider following the channel if you haven't done already. If you just hit that little heart button in the corner, um, then you won't miss these in future. I stream these modding workshop streams every Thursday uh, at this time. That's 5 p.m. BST. Uh, or alternatively... I think that's midday, um, ET. E e so, uh, yeah, I do this every week where we do a modding workshop and I work on some aspect of Lucian and answer all your questions. And, yeah, if you follow, well, thanks for following, Samantha. If you do follow, then um, you'll get to see those in the future and you won't miss them. There we go. No, we're coming towards the end of the lines now. Who's a good little undead doggy? Who isn't going to bite Lucian's ankle and give him a horrible zombie infection? Is it you? I sure hope it is. There, I'm quite happy with that. Export. Are we supposed to be able to hear your playback? Um, I don't think you can. Can you hear my playback? I wouldn't expect you to be able to hear my playback. But if you can, that's obviously a new quirk of the um, driver I wasn't expecting. Oh, no, you can't. Great. Yeah. No, sorry. You're not supposed to be able to hear it. I wouldn't expect you to be able to. Do 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 do. Bam 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 bam. Bam 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 bam. Yum bam 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 bam. Bam 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 bam. But to be honest, I probably can put it back so that it was. I was trying to. I switched the driver across because I was trying to fix it. Um, but if I just switch back, 
that probably won't make much difference but will mean you can at least hear the playback and makes it slightly easier for me because I don't have to mess around with the headphones right so export that one. Oh, did I just do this it's so difficult to keep track of whether I've just done it or not yes I did do it there you go so now we've just got these last two shared infos to do and we're done Hear a bird flying past. Wait for them to pass. Right. Looks like we've found Bulgare's necromancer, and he's not alone. Just our luck. Looks like we've found Bulgare's necromancer, and he's not alone. Just our luck. Looks like we've found Bulgare's necromancer. And he's not alone. Just our luck. Looks like we've found Bulgare's necromancer. And he's not alone. Just our luck. Yeah, that'll do. It's line 16 done. And final line to record now. Phew! Those wolves were scary! Don't think I really fancy the idea of them running around Skyrim. Let's have an investigate, see if he made any more. Wolves were scary. Don't you? Those wolves were scary. Don't think I really fancy the idea of them running around Skyrim. Let's have an investigate. See if he made any more. More. There we go. And that's line 17 done. So I'll just drag that last one over. Ooh, Detective Lucian, ooh, Detective Lucian, ooh, Detective Lucian, he's on the case. Ooh, Detective Lucian, ooh, Detective Lucian, ooh, Detective Lucian, got a handsome face. And uh, for those of you who don't know that song, you'll find it features in my Let's Play series on my YouTube channel, which I would love you to check out if you have the opportunity. Yeah, and that's done. Okay, so I can save that, and now it's time to polish it in SSE Edit, I think, and to uh, do the various other things we need in order to get the mod ready to go. Because I think we're done here. I will just check, were there any other lines I didn't record? I think we did all of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17. Yep, 17 lines. Hydrate. Thank you, the Ripchen. Ooh, she even made a thing in the fan art chat. Let's have a look. Let's fire up the old Discord. So now I'm done in the creation kit, I think. I'm happy with the way these all look like they're implemented. We have the cooldowns and we have the randoms. It should be good. So I'm just going to hit OK and we're going to open up SSE Edit again because we'll need that next. And then I'm going to close it. Select none. Activate Lucian's Bone Wolf patch. Posture check. I don't think you missed too much, check. Right, so I want to open up Discord. Oh, 
here we are. Let me show you. It's very cute. Here's what she even made in Discord. It's a blushing Lucian. That's cute. I love it. Thank you for sharing that, Shiva. He is adorable. Right, close that. Close that down so it doesn't keep pinging in the background. Oh, of course it won't because we haven't got, for some reason, the audio output working. Because everything's crashed. All the audio is a disaster at the moment. But, right, okay. So, back to SSE edit. Here's the Bone Wolf patch. Uh, no errors still coming up. That's good. I'm just going to run a check for errors just to make sure. Going to have a quick look to make sure we haven't got any dirty edits, which it doesn't look like we have, which is good. So I think we're fine. And finally, the file header. Have we got appropriate masters? Did we get? Well, we did gather some unnecessary masters, so I'll just clean those again, just to make it nice and tidy. And other than that, I'm pretty happy with that. So that's good to go. So now I want to back up the audio files and then run some normalization on them. So I'm just going to navigate to my backup folder. Right, okay, and now I'll let you guys see again. So this is my backup folder, and I'm just going to create a new folder here. Actually, I'm not going to bother with creating a new folder. We're just going to go over to the other one here, and I'm going to go back, and I'm going to take everything that was in this Lucian Bone Wolf patch folder and copy that back into the sounds archive before we start messing with them. So now that that's there, I'm ready to open this up, in, oh no, not this one. I want Audacity first. So the step we're going to do here is we're going to normalize the lines, which means we're going to make them all the same volume, which is consistent with the volume of the rest of the game. So to do that, you can do that automatically with Audacity, and you can do it by importing and going to our Bone Wolf patch here, selecting all the dialog lines, and they'll all load up now. And then I'm going to highlight them all. I'm going to go to Effect, Normalize, and run this. And press OK. And they've all, you can see the waveforms have all increased in size, which has normalized them. So now we're ready to export. So you do Export Multiple. We're going to choose our location to export it, which is going to be, again, the Bone Wolf Patch folder. JR Lucian Voice there. And hit Export. And here we go, they're all exported. So now when we go back into the Bone Wolf Patch folder here, we'll find we've got a whole bunch of new lines. Uh, I want, of course, to view. Yeah. Well, not new lines, but look, they've all got tracks now because they've all been regenerated. And I wanted to have date modified here so we could see, yeah, they've all been modified, which is great. So they've all had their volume increase. So now we're ready to transform them from a WAV and a LIP into .foos files, which are much more efficient. So I'm going to open Yakitori Audio Converter, and we're going to go File, Open Folder, Lucian Bone Wolf Patch, JR Lucian Voice. There we go. And they've all opened up there. And then we're going to... Oh, did you not know that, Gelidity? Oh, it makes a massive difference. Saves you so much time. I'm glad I could show you that anyway. Sorry, just bear with me one second.
Right, sorry about that. Just discussing copyright claim things as well. Um, so, how do you make an NPC's mouth sync with the voice lines? The game will do it entirely automatically through the creation kit. It gives you the option to export a lip file automatically, uh, which it does based on the audio file you supply and the text that you type in. And if you just hit export lip on that, generate lip, then job's done. Uh, the NPC's mouth will move with the file. What does Nexus mean when it says the file is currently being uploaded to our servers and it will be ready to be downloaded soon? It means exactly that. It means you've got to wait a little bit while it finishes processing and uploading uh, and then it'll be ready to download soon. But you've got to give it a little while. Uh, particularly if it's one of your first mods, I think they'll probably want to make sure it's properly scanned with their virus software and everything to make sure it's all legit. So it might take, it'll probably be a bit faster for future uploads. Right, so anyway, so now I've selected all of those, and we've got input format as .wav and output format as .foos, I can click convert. And it should process all 17. So here we are, we've got all our uh, .foos files at the top, which I can show you if I just enable this to show type. Here we are, here are all the .fooses, and if we also show size, you can see the raw lip and wav files were 889 kilobytes, 426, whatever you can see, and so those two combined together to make the foos, and the foos is significantly smaller, like 10% of the size, so it's way more efficient, but sounds just as good in game. So we've done that, we've done that, we've done pretty much everything, I think. Isn't the mouth thing different for Khajiit? No, though, no, not at all. It's still exactly an automatic process. Nothing else you have to do other than that. So now I think I'm pretty much done making the mod. So what's now left to do is for me to run it through testing. Uh, and I will get in touch with my testing team on the Discord. Uh, to, or try and find someone who's got a copy of Bone Wolf um, and then see if we can get it tested. Uh, I'll, I'll certainly test it on my end. And then when that's done, we'll look at releasing it if all works well. And I'll probably release that within the next, uh, probably early next week. I expect we're looking at Monday or Tuesday next week, probably, would be the release date for it. Uh, and then that will be online on the Nexus for everyone to use. Nuna, please don't feel obliged to get... Bone Wolf, if you don't have it, it's fine. I can test it myself or we can find someone else who's already get it, got it. I don't want you to feel like you have to spend money on more stuff just to test things out. Um, but yeah, thank you for coming with me on this modding journey today. What have we got? It's only 25 past seven. I've not really got anything more I can show you. And without the microphone, without the ability to export in-game audio, I can't really show you any kind of gameplay of anything, which is a pain. Let's go back to screen with camera. See, audio output capture here is just not, not playing. If I try and play some sound. Just nothing coming out. Something funky has gone on with my audio. Definitely today. Who knows what. But yeah, I'm going to go and figure that out. So, rest of the stream, um, I think we'll probably wrap up, really. I think, in the next couple of minutes. Uh, the birds are on my end. There's loads of birds outside. Oh, thanks so much, Victoria. That's really kind of you. That's really, you're being massively generous today. Thank you is all I can say. Thank you so much. That's really nice. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching and for those of you who subbed and everything and those new people who joined for the first time from the raid. I really hope you follow the channel uh, and I'll see you again on future streams because it's been really fun having you all here. Um, I, like I say, I stream every Thursday doing these modding workshops at 5pm BST and I do other gaming streams throughout the week. Um, all the VODs from all of the streams get uploaded to my YouTube channel. 
uh, which I'll link again for you in the chat, just if you want to check that out. So there we go. I will be certainly doing another Batman stream at some point, uh, probably next week now. Um, so you can check that out and I'll be doing other games and stuff and letting you vote and all sorts. And there's the next installment of my uh, tutorial series coming out on YouTube, uh, which I'm hoping to have ready next week for you guys to watch. So you can carry on making your custom voiced follower, which should be fun. Um, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching. This has been brilliant and hopefully I'll see you all again really soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>